day. You're flying Torona's very unfriendly skies, and today we have the J7W3, and this time I really and truly have a gun sight on the thing. Uh, <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I don't recommend flying any plane without a gun sight, but uh, especially the J7W3. Uh, though I did turn in an ace performance with it nonetheless. But that might be more my being familiar with the uh, shooting than uh, a method of saving some money, right? So we had, uh, what you hadn't seen was I had another clip recorded in that same day where immediately after I got the ace, I got another 15 and 7, I believe. Um, and I'd done rather well with that one as well. And I was thinking, geez, maybe it's just a streak or, you know, maybe it's not that good a plane. And let's take this thing out and see what we have for real. You know, in a normal everyday game where, you you know, uh, things are different and maybe it's just not turning out as spectacular as you think it is. Okay, so we pretty quickly got ourselves uh, the garrison and we're going to go ahead and take out the next garrison. So now it's target selection over everything else. There's our lone wolf. Hit him really lightly, actually. Yeah. And you can tell when you get a uh, good hit on him because their health bar just starts going down like Lucifer's hammer. Okay. Um, and then we have a F6U uh, here. We already have the garrison taken, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. He's well within range of the guns. So we got an assist there. Yep, that was a nice one. Now the guns are nothing less than decisive when you're on. That was a GA, had about 40% health left, which got some help out of that one. <coughs> and I don't know, we touched that old boy. Well, we got him that time. Okay. Now you got it uh, right at, when I finished uh, optimizing the plane, right at a 10 second flat uh, turn time, which is about a half second better than you get most aircraft at. So he's a little more maneuverable than his pre predecessor to the J7W2. And like I said, about a half a second better turn time than most of the aircraft that you fly. Now that does not include your uh, nine second J7, or the, uh, you know, there's a lot of aircraft, the uh, turn and burns, the Soviet line, the uh, LA-15, the uh, F-86, are they giving you a nine and a half to under nine, 9.2 in that range turn time. Don't try to stick with them. You're not going to be able to. Though so you will give them a harder time than you might. They might expect, and if they're sloppy, <coughs> you, you, they might be unhappy. Now this thing is not all uh, roses and chocolate, right? There's no uh, does not have great altitude capability. Uh, right around 5,900 feet, or t just under 2,000 meters. For everybody else not in America and the speed is a very pedestrian uh, 320 but what it has is the triple or quadruple uh, 
30 millimeters and the hit was a 1200 DPS <coughs> and the gun is not that loopy it's not that arky it's it's got some art to it but um, as you fly the plane more and more the more you get used to it the deadlier you get with the thing it's an aircraft that's going to reward you to really learn its guns and get the most out of them where it excels more than anything else is in its ability to take down ground pounders and bombers and it does a great job at doing that I mean just fantastic that's what it does better than anything else out there that's relatively turny it can rip up any GA that comes across and this is probably a good uh, In fact, that was just almost perfect uh, demonstration of its guns. Now, you have to lead it just a little more than you normally would. It's not the world's highest velocity uh, cannon. Now, that being said... right there. Two GA taking down just about as fast as you could want. Now I got in a bit of a spiral climb to get out from underneath this J7W2 who cannot stay with me in a turn. Got a nice sight picture and away he goes. Another GA here. And we got the Conqueror badge. Lost the airfield, but we still have three bases there, too. I'm okay with that. Hit squall line. If I take this guy out, he's not coming back. Ouch. Well, I guess I'm not coming back either, but neither is my opponent. Um, you know, I am slowly starting to revise my opinion of this aircraft. It's an aircraft that I'm going to freely confess I did not want to purchase. Uh, I figured I needed to show it to you, but, you know, I thought that uh, I get it and maybe you show it for a while and then just kind of park it in the dust and when I needed a strange plane to bring up from time to time for a video, here you go. But... As time went on um, and I get further experience, I'm beginning to get a lot of confidence in this aircraft, and I like it. It's turning enough, the guns, uh, you know, yeah, would I like it to be a 9.5 uh, second plane? Yeah, I think that would just about cap it for me, uh, but it's not. Uh, but it does have devastating firepower. It can outturn mo most, though not all. And it's not going to outturn a uh, true turn and burn. But with further enhancements, I bet you can get sub uh, 10 second with this. And yeah, you're not going to outturn an uh, LA 15. You're not going to outturn a, a Yak. You're not going to outturn the uh, F 86. <laughs> But that's about it. And everything else is going to outturn. The speed's not great, but again, I haven't got the, the engine upgrades in this going beyond 200. I haven't got the polished skin, which would be the thing that I'd probably go to next. Uh, so you can get the speed up and you get the improved. Uh, I know that you get the improved 
uh, fuel mixture when you get the specialist on there. So when you start thinking about that, you know, you can get, I bet we can probably get 340 out of it anyway, which, again, is no patch on a true boom and zoom, but for a lot of aircraft, they'll let you at least get in the ballpark of keeping up. And between the two of those, you got a pretty nice aircraft. And its ability to stick around at bases and kill GA and kill other fighters, as long as you stay, you know, a reasonable altitude, this is a nice package. And I'm getting to where I'm impressed. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you soon.